This new turbine engine claims to end the era of electric motors. The Astrin Omega-1 turbine engine from Astrin Aerospace weighs just 16 kilograms yet can achieve 25,000 revolutions per minute and 160 horsepower. Test results were reportedly impressive, with potential for integration into any passenger vehicle and greater efficiency than other combustion engines. The key lies in its novel design, which features no cylinders, connecting rods or similar components. Instead, it combines a turbine, compressor and the well-established Wankel principle. Multiple small systems can theoretically be linked to achieve any desired power class, making it suitable for ships, trains and aircraft. However, questions remain around whether this system can truly succeed and how the motor functions. Critical issue is the credibility of claims that it can save combustion engines and replace electric vehicles. From an engineering perspective, the Astrin Omega-1 was truly ingeniously developed. The new motor was taken over by Astrin Aerospace, a small American startup seeking to completely rethink the combustion engine. Typically, a common four-stroke motor uses pistons to absorb energy from fuel combustion and convert it to mechanical energy for propulsion. In contrast, the Astrin Omega-1 almost resembles a modified Wankel motor, though classification is difficult. Fitting description could be compressor turbine rotary piston engine. It incorporates various elements. There are four strokes split across two independent chambers or disc systems with an intervening precamber. One part acts as a compressor for intake air while the other handles combustion and work. Discs are used instead of pistons, each with a cutout and eccentrically rounded pin. The cutout forms the compression or combustion space while the pins function as pistons. Intake air is compressed in the first disc pack and the fuel mixture in the second via a conventional spark plug. When ignited in the combustion chamber, the hydrogen mixture expands eccentrically, driving the shaft. Hydrogen is combusted, enabling substantial benefits from this configuration. Due to this configuration, substantially fewer nitrous oxides are produced, a major benefit. However, few realize hydrogen combustion produces harmful nitrous oxides in higher amounts than gasoline or diesel. As the Fraunhofer Institute notes, this is a significant problem with hydrogen. Unlike the Wankel motor or typical hydrogen combustion engine, the Astrin motor avoids exhaust issues through spatial separation of hot and cold mixtures, precluding overlap. This arrangement also improves efficiency via the compressor approach common in jet propulsion, forming an air cushion within the motor. This allows components to effectively float on a dense air layer reducing friction losses to near zero. Critically important given the hollow drive shaft reaches 25,000 RPM. The small 16 kilograms motor consequently achieves 160 horsepower. However, energy density directly correlates with wear factors, so higher densities coincide with greater material stresses per volume. While engineering solutions mitigate this, Long-term durability under extreme loads must be proven over decades at promised performance levels. Cost effectiveness also depends on accompanying variables absent from current testing, understandably so given the motor's novelty. Technical feasibility appears promising, but non-technical reality poses greater risks. Every motor relies on transportation ecosystems and infrastructure landscapes. Yet investment willingness plummets without clear long-term political strategies and incentives. No automaker will focus on hydrogen without infrastructure commitments. While technology proponents argue free market dynamics alone should decide, policies establish frameworks shaping industry course corrections and advancements. This new motor's practical impact remains uncertain until real-world deployment transpire. Currently, a hydrogen fueling infrastructure commitment remains uncertain. For widespread consumer adoption, hydrogen vehicles face significant disadvantages versus electric cars. While hydrogen offers higher energy density in theory, producing green hydrogen is costlier than generating electricity. 
The amount of hydrogen needed to travel 100 kilometers costs over double the equivalent amount of electricity for an electric vehicle. Additionally, hydrogen is difficult to store. Driving up infrastructure expansion costs compared to establishing charging stations. Therefore, we estimate lower prospects for this system in passenger vehicles. However, Theistra and Omega-1 could be particularly promising for trucks, ships, trains, and air transport where vehicles predominantly travel fixed routes enabling more affordable, straightforward infrastructure expansion. Hydrogen's energy density advantage can also be better utilized at selective transportation hubs, rather than requiring global ubiquitous access points. Serious proposals to electrify aviation or shipping face challenges, integrating ton-weight battery packs safely. In contrast, the Astron Omega-1 presents a superior alternative as an efficient, high-performance yet cost-effective option that electric motors admittedly cannot currently match for these applications. While technical merits are apparent, practical market adoption remains uncertain until infrastructure developments materialize to support the technology. The new Vitesco motor already on the market achieving over 95% efficiency also warrants attention, as an emissions-free solution nearly doubling combustion engine performance if it relies solely on domestic resources. Both motors represent innovation but realizing their full potential depends on broader supporting policy and industry investments. In conclusion, the Astron Omega-1 turbine engine showcases an ingenious engineering design that rethinks the combustion engine concept. Its ability to achieve high speeds and power-to-weight ratios with near-zero emissions represents a major technical achievement. As a new technology, it expands the solutions available to advanced transportation sectors traditionally reliant on combustion. However, several uncertainties remain around its long-term durability under extreme operating conditions. More testing data is also needed to validate manufacturer performance claims over decades of use. Additionally, the infrastructure requirements for hydrogen pose challenges to widespread adoption as a passenger vehicle technology in the near term. Nonetheless, its energy storage advantages may make the Astron Omega-1 more practical for specialized applications with fixed infrastructure like shipping, rail, and aviation. If durability can be proven, it holds promise as a zero-emissions alternative where electrification faces technical constraints. Broader success will also depend on coordinated policy support and market pull through investments that establish clarity around hydrogen's role in transportation systems. Overall, the Astron Omega-1 demonstrates the potential of pioneering new engine designs to push combustion technology boundaries. While real-world deployment hurdles exist, it represents an important milestone that could inform future solutions if validated. Continued development is still needed but offers hope that innovative engineering may eventually resolve current transportation sector difficulties. If the right ecosystem emerges to foster such innovations to their full potential,